Hi, these videos are going to um, show you how to access the publisher content from the CD, um, load them into exam view, reformat them for Blackboard, and then um, upload them into Blackboard, create a test from them, and then finally deploy the test for students. So it will be a set of, of several videos. This first one will just be about accessing the content from the publisher material and getting them into exam view. All right, so I'm clicking, um, so I just clicked, well, let's go back. So I inserted the CD, I go to my computer or, you know, Windows Explorer, click on the CD, click start.exe. Okay, this pulls this up. I'm going to click on PC Test Bank and then choose Exam View Test Bank Install. All right, just walk through the wizard, click Next. Yes, I agree. And it, it wants to automatically put it in this folder, but I'm going to change that, and um, I'll tell you why in a little bit. So I think I created, yeah, a folder called HD Truck Systems. Okay. And click Next. The only thing I want to actually install is the question banks. So uncheck all of these things. This will install the actual software, which you should already have on your computer. Okay, so I'm only clicking question banks. Click next, click next again, and it'll go through its steps. So if it's complete, click close. All right, so now let's check to see if it worked. Go to the C drive, go to HD truck systems, and here we go. In the banks, here's the book. So it's already, this .bnk, this format is all ready to go into um, exam view. So that's good. So we're just going to open up these um, banks in exam view and reformat them for Blackboard. All right, so I'm going to create a folder in here called BB format. So as I reformat each, um, you know, a couple of these to show you how to do it into a Blackboard format, I'm going to put that new zip file that will be created into this folder so that you, they'll all be in one place. All right, so that's that. Let me just get exam view started and we'll go from there. So I'm just going to close out of this. All right, so I've opened up exam view and what I want to do is open an existing question bank. Okay, so make sure I'm in the right location. Come on. I want to be in the C drive, in HD truck systems, and in banks. Okay, so I'll just start with chapter one. Open. Okay, so here's the test bank. Um, so all you have to do once you open the test bank in exam view is click File, Export, Blackboard 79 to 90. And so I'm going to look put this file that's going to be created into truck systems, oops, banks, da, 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 into the BB format folder. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky just keeping everything straight where it is, but you always want to, you know, make sure you're in the right location. And so let's just call this chapter one. Click save. Again, you have to rename it or name it, I should say. Description is optional. Again, you, there's a directory for images. Even though there's none, you still have to give it one. So you can just call it image, IMG. Okay. So then it will go through the process, all behind the scenes. So the way to check on it is go back to Windows Explorer and look in that folder. And there it is. Okay, so that's what we, what you need to do with all of the all of these banks. So I'll go through it one more time, okay? So since I already have one open, I'm just going to say open question bank. I need to make sure I'm in the right place, and I am. I'm going to choose chapter two. Then I'm just going to click file, export as Blackboard 7, 9, 7 to 9. Here's the Blackboard. It automatically goes there since I was just there. Um, so you call it chapter two, save chapter two, image, okay. Wait, right, I double check to make sure it all worked, and there it is.
Okay, so that's how to um, reformat the question banks, the publisher question banks, into a file ready to go into Blackboard. All right, so that's step one and two. So the next video will show you what to do, how to get these those zip files into Blackboard, and then move on from there to create your tests. All right, I'll stop for now. Thanks.